Good morning, this is Lee. I'm wanting to show you how to use the new Google Sites to make a ePortfolio for your practicing teacher criteria. Bit of a change from the old sites. Um, can't make templates. There's another few limitations of the new sites, but I'll show you what the easiest way that I think will work. So I'm going to start with showing you um, the example that I've um, put up here. Um, first of all, I've um, made the home page pretty straightforward. I have several different tabs. One is Inquiry, so this is where I'm going to report on my inquiry for the year. And here's my blog, because I think a blog is a really good way to um, record um, as you go, day to day, things that are important for your um, practicing teacher criteria. And I've also inserted a folder. Um, which has got all of the folders for each particular uh, practicing teacher criteria. So that's the example that I'm going to run through with you how to do. So there are two way to, ways to find your sites. The first is to click on your Google Apps, which are up there, and you may have sites here. Uh, you can click on Classic Sites, that's not a problem. Just right. Google Sites into your URL bar, press enter, it will come up with the Google Sites, you can click on there, it will take you to all of the sites that you have. So we're not going to do our new site in the classic site, so if you just click on this tab, it says new Google Sites, it will take you to the page where you can set up your new site. And it's as easy as starting it by clicking the plus sign, create a new site. And you can name it whatever you wish. Um, ePortfolio is the obvious one. But you can put your name in there as well. You can also change the image. You can upload an image. And you know that I've used this Bluebells picture. You can change the header type if you want to at this stage. If you decide that you want to put some text onto this page, you're just clicking on that and adding this is the home page. You can also add images, easy enough to do. I might choose something from my albums, I might choose something from my Dropbox. This one here, I don't even know if my Dropbox is open. So you can change the size of the image, you might also decide to center it some more. And there you go, you've got the first page um, ready to go. So if you click on the Pages tab, you've already got a home page. Adding another page is as simple as clicking on the plus. I might call the next one Inquiry. Spell it right. Uh, and done. Now if I decide that I want that Inquiry to be a sub-page under the home page, I take till I see that little cross um, bars there and move it up until I see that little line appearing and let it go. You can see this has changed into an L now and so it's become a sub tab of the home page. I don't actually want that tab and so I can just drag it down again and make it a separate page. I might add a further page. My new page is called folders and this is where um, I am going to show you how to insert. Um, so from the drive, if you have a folder that's all made up called um, Practicing Teacher Criteria, and here's the one here, and I can just insert that one item and that will show up. I can move that over to make it the full page. I've got the list view. If I want to alter that, I can change it to a grid view. And this is what I've done in my example that I've showed you. So that's there. Um, you can change the theme, fiddle around with that a bit. That's basically um, the way to set it up. It's very simple and very intuitive. So Go for it, have a play, and enjoy. If you want to have a look what it looks like, you just click on the little preview button. 
obviously, and this shows you. So I just click on home. You can see the home page with the photo. Inquiry page has got nothing in it at the moment, but you can see how simple it is just to add text. And we'll just close that and have a look at that page. Insert. You can put in the text, the images. Oh, one thing I haven't showed you is how to put in the URL. So in my example, I put my blog in as well. So I create a new page, add the new page, it's called blog. You see it pop up the top. And on that page, I'm going to insert the URL of my blog, which is, so I just copy that. Paste it in there, Command V, and it will add it for me. So I can just go along here, check on the settings, show title, show description, they're both on, done. And once again, want to see how it looks to other people coming in? Here I go. A couple of other things you should consider is that um, with the new Google Sites, there are difficulties with privacy settings. So as soon as you hit that publish, you're actually making it open to everyone. Um, there are a couple of options. So we'll just click on that. Um, and you can unclick allow my site to appear in search results. And that will make it only people with the link can see it. Um, but it's still not what I think is a perfect plan. Um, the site location you can name yourself, so I could call this the example portfolio um, and just say yes that's what we'll call it. So I want to copy that and pop it in there. Command a. Yes. And that takes me to the portfolio. So lastly I want to talk about this particular page in the portfolio. If you remember I embedded this folder from my drive. The useful thing is that anytime you want to upload some evidence you think oh gosh that's a really good example of how I did some professional learning. So you can open that folder in your drive and very quickly just say new file upload and choose the picture that's relevant. In this case I chose Barbara Bray and it's uploaded there. When I actually look in this page on my site I don't have to update anything because anything that I popped in there comes through automatically so you can see that it's already in there. So it's a great way, uh, a site is a great visual way to present your evidence and have it organized in that way without having to um, do the work twice.